very best. From the people, Guyanese. What is up, Dope Squad? Naira here, bringing y'all another amazing interview. And of course, music is my heart, so it is only right that we interview another artist. So today, we have P Town on Miss Tori Best. What is up, girl? <laughs> yeah, she's shy, but we're gonna get her out of that shyness. Tori. We're not about to do this today because I've heard your song. So I know you're not shy when I hear them. But you are super, super quiet in person. Tell us about Tori Biz. How did you become Tori? Well, Tori then just like the stories and background. Like when you listen to my songs, all of that is real. So, like, the struggle, pain, like all of that made me who I am today, made me the person I am today, made it possible for the music that I make today. Wow, how did you get into music? Like what made you want to be a lyricist? Like, I, to be honest, I never really wanted to do music. Like, Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I've always been lyrical. Like I remember, like six years old, going to Jamaica, like freestyle with my cousin and stuff. Like I've always been drawn to lyrics. Like I always had them, but like I never thought that I would be making stuff for people to hear. Like I'm used to just writing, just having all that to myself in my room. Like all this, just this stuff new to me. Wow. Yeah. So you said it's all new to you. How long have you been actually making music to put out for people to hear? Uh, I actually just started this year. Last, like the end of 2021, so I ain't been doing it for that long. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I have to. I have to know the story now. <laughs> Did you just was sitting at home one day? I was like, I'm about to write a song, or what happened? Like, how did this come apart that you went from not wanting to do music to recording, not only in another state but another? You went to Iowa, okay? <laughs> like, so how did this happen? So, I always ask my mom for studio time, but I honestly never thought that it would take, like, like it would actually, people would actually think it's good enough to be out there. Like, I always knew I had it, but, like, you know, everybody think they got it, everybody think they craft is, you know, everybody believe in it, but everybody craft not really up to par, so... I was just asking my mom for studio time to just see if I had what it took. And my first song that I dropped, Danger, that was actually my first studio session. I went in and freestyled and we made the beat right then and there in the studio. And that was a freestyle track. That was that was the first studio session. And I made that when I was 16. Wow. So let me get this straight. The song Danger. That was a one take. Was a one take. One take. They created the beat right then and there. Right then. Majority of it is freestyle. We had uh, three engineers in there. One of them doing pianos and guitars and stuff. Other one, he on there testing out the different, you know, drums on the little piano. Yeah, we, that beat was created in the studio that day. Wow. Now, how long? Because now I have to know. What, not only are you a first-time artist, her first time being in the studio you are, had her beat created right there for her. How long was y'all in the studio to get everything done? Because it has a feature on that song too, right? Yeah, Jamalo. Shout out, my brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, well, we don't, when we go to LA, we don't leave the studio till like three the next morning. Like it's always, we, we just be working. We just be grinding. Yeah, we didn't leave the studio till, yeah, I think like four that morning, the next morning. But that's still dope, though, yeah. to get all of that done and for it to be your first time. You know, most people would be like, yeah, I had to go this day, but then that didn't sound right, so I had to go back, and I was nervous, and I was that, and it just came natural for you. Yeah. What was that adrenaline rush like to know, like, wow, this is not just me going out of town, the Cali. I'm going to focus on my career. Like, how was that experience leaving Central Illinois, yeah. going over there? Well, it was it's, it was new to me, like I said. And it was, it was nervous. I was nervous. It was nerve wracking. Cause like I said, I'm used to just writing to myself, you know, just listening to myself. Like, but this, and it didn't just come easy. Cause we went through the long process of I'm listening to how many hard drives the beats, but I just wasn't feeling them. Like, mm -hmm. 
So we did that at the studio too, and then it got to a point where he like, look, we, we just gonna try something else. Like, you just start freestyling, and I'ma just, you know, catch on, and, and that's that's how that stuff. Wow, because like, if anybody haven't heard her song, Your Danger, it literally is like, wow, how did she find this beat? That match what she's saying in the tone of her voice. Now I know it was created for, me. for you. So you know this is exclusive. <laughs> yeah. no, nobody got this, it which is funny. always dope. <laughs> so you said you were 16. Yeah. And you said it was a few years ago. I'm not a few years ago, but last year yeah, last when year. you started. Mm -hmm. So are you 17? Yeah, I'm 17. On my way to 18. Wow, sadly. But your music is so mature. Not mature like... You out here just talking about some crazy stuff, yeah. but it's very mature. Mm -hmm. Like, but that speaks of me because I'm very mature. Like, a lot of people don't know my age until I tell me. Like, if right. you're having a conversation, you do not think I'm 17. Like, I'm on a, a whole nother level. Wow, like that's amazing. So I'm sure with being 17, just getting out of high school, because a little birdie told me that you graduated early. Yeah, I graduated early. College lady now. Yeah. College. Yeah. How is that college music? How yeah. is it? It's stressful because I do have a job also. So balancing all of that definitely is stressful. And it's a lot sometimes because in different places, everybody think you're not giving it your all. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you don't have nothing else to give. Like you can't really, you know. So it's hard balancing and managing time, definitely. And being able to communicate with, with every team, like, it sometimes like even with my mom it's a struggle for communication just because I'm juggling so much at a young age, like it'd be hard. I totally understand where you're coming at. But it shows a lot of hunger in you too. Because I can only imagine I'm thinking, yo, when I was in college, you couldn't pay me to say, Oh, let me go and do this and do that. All I wanted to do is work go to class, and then hang out with friends when I could. So to be able to add your career and what you plan on making your livelihood to it, that's really amazing. Like, big ups to all of the college students out here that are like, okay, let me get academics out the way, but let me also follow my passion. So I always tell people music is therapy for me. Yeah. With you having so much going on with work, school, a career as an artist, are you still able to use music as therapy or has it became just strictly working out for you? No, it's, it definitely still is therapy. And that's that's a lot of the challenge that I try to, I have with myself is trying to keep it so like it still means as much to me. Like I don't want music to just be a check for me. Like I want it to have the same purpose as when it was like nothing. Like to when I'm big, I want it to still mean the same to me. Like. Yeah, so it's still it's still therapy. Like, as soon as I get in my little feelings are, like, I feel like so, I can't really, you know, I'm mad about something, but I can't really express it or deal with it how I want to deal with it. I just hit the notepad, just start writing. And it's better that way anyway. Wow. <laughs> so have you lived in Peoria your whole life? Sadly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know it's funny because a lot of people say that um, like a lot of people know I'm not from Peoria moved here almost five years ago and I always hear people say like yeah sadly I'm from there I'm the same way with my hometown yeah. living here in Peoria seeing the music culture and the scene and just all of the history behind entertainment here in the city did that help you with like your creativity or Honestly, no, because I always I came out the gate. I'm all I've always been the type of person who always want to be different. So, like I never really honestly I don't really pay attention to like other artists from here because like how how people support systems is like people really pick and choose who they support. So it's just mm -hmm. like it's hard getting support down here. So I never really paid attention to it or I never really look at people and want to be like that. I always try to find a way to be different or create content in a different way, like what they haven't thought of. Like. Speaking of creating content, <laughs> you just shot a video. Yes. You decided to go take your whole spring break and make it fun and business. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, about the video, the song, where you did it at. Um, so I just shot a music video in Jamaica. Uh, new single, Passing By, coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Dropping next month. Can't tell y'all the day yet, but just stay tuned. <laughs> but yeah, it's the video. I feel like the video is 
it's, it's something to look for. It's a mo- It definitely was a movie, whole spring break. Like, it was hard to, um, like I said, managing time and balancing. It was hard to, like, you know, have fun, fun. But it was fun because I'm in a whole nother country and right. I'm doing a music <laughs> video. But at the same time, I couldn't really have fun all the way because, you know, I still got to keep the business mind because I got to make sure all scenes is done, everything looking right, everybody good, like, who was involved. So, I mean, it was fun, but it still, it was work. I was working the whole time I was there, so. Wow. So, like, did you take your whole team with you as far as, like, anybody that was going to be in the video or everything was ready for you when you got to Jamaica? Yeah, everything was ready for me down there. I had a uh, camera crew, had a video man, um, got an actor, you know. I posted a little blooper. People see me on the raft. But so they seen the camera, <laughs> they seen me on the raft with my little coconut and they see a glimpse of somebody on the the, the side of me, but they didn't know what it's for, but now y'all know. Wow. And y'all, if you have not seen that clip yet, here it is right here. So that way you can know what she's talking about and see what the video is going to be about. So I always ask people. Three things. If you had to come up with three words that keep you going when you write music, what would be those three words that would be like, oh, yeah, I do think about that word a lot. Uh, keep me going when I think about music. Uh, well, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Nah, but I like to be real. So real would be one. Like, Make sure everything that I'm talking about is facts. Like, so everything that's in my songs is always real. Um, uh, I like stuff. I like my music to move people. Like, I want when you listening to my song, like you take something from it. Like, I don't want people to listen to the whole song and be like, "Hold up, what I just listened to?" <laughs> <Like>, what? <laughs> and clear. Like, I make sure messages, language, everything is clear. That is really cool. And I know you said that you want to make sure people hear it. And when I listen to Danger, I can't remember if it was any foul language in and out. Now, your music, you don't, do you cuss in your music? Barely, barely. And that's what makes it dope because yeah. you're able to deliver what you're trying to say and can really use actual words, not yeah. just like, oh, that too clean, music. clean. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's no extra work when it's time to send your music to radio. Yeah. You know, so that's always cool. By Danger Band, the song that made you say, okay, this is a career for me. What is a line out of that song that you are going to remember no matter how many tracks you create? I gotta grind. I gotta leave a mark in life. I gotta grind. I gotta leave a mark in life. Now, that's a dope quote to go by. I gotta grind. I gotta leave a mark in life. Well, you are. I already know the answer to this, but... I want her to tell you all the answer. How did you come up with the name Tori Best? How did that become your stage name? Well, honestly, I thought of a whole bunch of other names that I could go with, but I just thought like 10 years from now, is that name really gonna, you know, is it really gonna make sense to me? Am I really gonna like, is it gonna fit me and like, why well, don't just go with my own name? Like y'all got all these other Tories out here, but y'all don't got Tory Best though. That's true. <laughs> and you was born there. Yes, you are Tory Best is her actual name. So before any speculation come when Tory blows up, no, she is not out here like, oh, I call myself this because I think I'm the best. She was destined to be the best because it's her last name. How dope is that to have a name you could truly use? Right. You know, as a public figure. Like that's really, really dope. Y'all, she has so much in store for you all. I'm excited to see the video. Now, that's one thing I have not seen yet. And y'all know, since we getting all the exclusives, okay? But I have not seen the video. Now, I did see the actor, and I did get to see some of the scenes and the backgrounds, which was all natural because they was in Jamaica. But I have not seen the video. So, I'm excited to see it as well because why not? We literally get to be on vacation with you in movie. Yeah. Now for the song that you use, can you give us a hint of what the song is about or we just gotta wait until next month? I think y'all just gotta wait till next month. 
See, told y'all we was going to get her out that shell before this interview was over. <laughs> and for people that want to check out Danger and other projects and things that you're dropping, how can they follow you on social media? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Those going to be up there. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's that freshman fifteen college brain kicking in, <laughs> where you know you burnt out, and she probably got a paper or something to write tonight. Who knows? Because she's a college student too. Well, you all, we are not going to keep Miss Tori Best here too long. Make sure next month that you all are on the lookout. Follow those social medias that are right here on the screen for you, so that way you can know. When the song is coming out and make sure you all check out Danger available on all streaming platforms as well as YouTube. I am Naira Wade. This is Tori Best and we are out of here. Bye.